Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I am going to do a very, very quick video on something that I must have mentioned a few times prior. And a lot of you have asked for me to explain what it was. And um, so I'm going to do it really quickly. Um, I just got out of the shower, so my hair is all soaking wet and everything. And I just didn't want to get on camera right now. But it is called Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Now, I know I mispronounced it the one time I said Black African Soap. I don't know, dyslexia maybe, I don't know. I love this though. And it has shea butter in it. And I gotta take off my glasses to read because I can't read what my glasses on, which is, but this is for acne prone and troubled skin. And this uh, we got at Ulta. And they have a humongous selection of different types of things that you can get. You don't have to get the African black soap. They have green tea stuff. I mean, they have the whole gambit, which I'm going to try new things when I go. Now, why I love this, my daughter got this for um, herself. And um, I started trying it because her skin and everything changed. I, this is going to sound odd, but I had this thing growing on my head. Okay, on my forehead. I thought it was a pimple. We all get the pimples. All right. But it just would not go away. And so I went to the doctors because I didn't know what the heck it was. I went to the doctors for something else, but I asked her about it. She was like, oh, I can aspirate that. Well, she couldn't aspirate it. It was like a hard mass in my head. We didn't know what it was. I was to go to a dermatologist and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I continued to have it for another week and a half, two weeks, this thing on my head. So then uh, I had noticed that my daughter, her skin was changing when she used this in a good way. So I tried it. And I would use it on my face and, um, you know, on mosquito bites. I'm talking like I would go out and get a mosquito bite. And then when I would shower, I would lather this up and put it on a mosquito bite. And I would lather it up, put it all over my face. And um, it made the lump on my head go down. Um, I can't even explain to you. It was magical. It was magical. There was no nothing seeped out. Nothing came out. Nothing popped. I don't know. I thought I was growing a horn before I went to hell. I have no idea. It was just coming out and that was what it was. This stuff is magical. Um, I am not sponsored to say this. Nobody sent this to me. This is our second bar we're getting into because it lasts a long time. Um, and it's our second bar. And I just wanted to uh, let you guys know. I mean, this helped shrink my pores. It took redness away. Um, and like I said, the mosquito bites for me, because I don't know what the heck I have in me, but when I go out, when I walk out the door for a minute, I come in and I have mosquito bites on me that in places I didn't even know mosquitoes could get to. And this stuff was, it, it is just magical, it blows them a, a, aloe away from me or anything that you could put on your mosquito bites. Um, and it just helps so much. So it's, uh, African black soap with shea butter. It's from Shea Moisture, I believe. And it has a little story on here of their story. Uh, it said, Soft Sophie Tucker started selling shade nuts at the village market in Sierra Leone in 1912. By age 19, the widowed mother of four was selling shea butter, black soap, and her homemade hair and skin preparations all over the countryside. Um, Sophie Tucker was our grandmother, and shea moisture is her legacy. With this purchase, you help empower disadvantaged women to realize a brighter, healthier future. So it's one of the reasons uh, my daughter loves loves helping others and doing this kind of thing. And, um, so she had done, you know, she had got this, saw what it was all about. And, and like I said, we just love, 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 love the product. And I'm going to definitely go back and, uh, get different things to try. And I'll let you guys know as I do, but Alta, I think it was $5. It wasn't even that expensive and it lasts so long. Her and I have been using it. Um, and it, it just lasts so long. And my daughter's trick is, and I don't know if, this is a trick that they tell you or not, but what we do is we keep it in this paper, we put it in the shower, and when we're done, um, we wrap it back up so the water and like the moistness doesn't get to it because it will kind of melt away. And you'll see when you uh, wet it, it gets a little, you know, it's it's got shea butter and whatnot in it. So it gets a little, you know, moisturizey kind of thing. But it lasts, I mean, with two of us and uh, I love it, love it, love it. And I just wanted to give a shout out to it. Um, for no other reason but to share this. And if you have problem skin or you have problems, you know, this can be used all over your body. So, you know, if you have um, 
sometimes due to medicine and stuff, I get like a little bit of acne on my back and stuff like that. So, I mean, this stuff just works fantastic. So I'm going to the next time I go to uh, Ulta grab one to do a giveaway with because I just think it's like fantastic. I love it. Um, but let me know if you guys have used this and let me know down below what you guys use for your skincare. Um, I've been, I have a couple things here that I need to um, use and do a video on, which I will be doing. Um, one is um, the uh, Rodin and Fields Enhancements. This is a micro uh, dermabrasion paste. And then it comes with like these little uh, capsules of stuff for your face. So these are gonna be getting tried um, and I'm going to let you know what those are like. Like I said, I love this. And um, I really do I really do like the serum that I did a video on, the uh, Sicilian Light Serum. I really do love this stuff. I, mean, I use it, and I, I just love it. So, But like I said, not getting paid. Nobody sent this to me. Spent my own money on it, and I love it. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will talk to you guys later. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Bye, guys.